there has always been the demon black fast bowler. Young strapped in box, releasing a thunderbolt at you, it can become something of a firing lion. When you look at a Michael Holden running into bowl, what you're looking at is an African individual with African rhythm. Yeah, that's really one in a million. Born to bowl a cricket ball. Michael, in that stride, would put fear into any particular batsman. I was just a young man running in, bowling fast, attracting attention. Look out for this guy, he's coming. Andy Roberts was one of the hard-nosed individuals on the team. A guy that you would take in the battle anywhere, you know. I'm a warrior. I take fast bowling more seriously than anything else. I would say Andy was misunderstood because he hardly ever smiled. And people thought he was just a grumpy, miserable guy. Never shown emotion so nobody knew what to expect. That was me. Andy taught me a lot about fast bowling, taught me a lot about cricket. I could set you up easy. He knew how to catch a fish. Andy used to have two different bouncers. The first one, the batsman would sometimes hook it away and get a boundary. And the second one, with the same action, same effort, would be a great deal quicker. And of course, the batsman would feel some pain. He could hurt you, seriously hurt you. And he was the original leader of that pace attack. Not long after Australia, we returned home to play India. We were eager to banish our humiliation and to show we had the character to win. For Clive, it was the opportunity to start blooding the newly formed pace attack. The pressure was on and was to reach boiling point in Kingston. The whole Jamaica come for see it. We we'll pack like a sardine. There was the feeling that now we were unleashing this firing power. Let's play the type of cricket that they do not associate us with. Our guys wanted to show that they learned something from Australia. How would the Indians withstand our head-on onslaught? My heart started beating, beating hard. And they see him running, and then let them deliver the ball, right? We were making India really buckle under a pressure here, you know. The Indian team was like the walking wounded. All of them had broke. <laughs> Everybody had get leaked. You understand? The Indians thought we were overdoing the first bowling, surrendered the test match to the West Indies almost as a, a show of protest. It takes a lot of guts to face fast bowling. Most people who don't expect to get it, complain. Every time I go out to bat, I expect to get my share. Australia 75, 76, we didn't complain. If I can't take the heat, and if it can't take the pace, get out. I believe that, unfortunately, the Indians were there to receive the brunt of the revised strategy and the desperation to restore pride. What you saw then was a team that had its mind made up. Do or die, ask no quarter and give none. That theory was reinforced in Clive's mind because of the results that we got. And I think then people realized, oh, okay, it can work, and it has worked.